Hey guys, I am from Digital Wallet News and I'll explain to you how to create an Ethereum address using Metamask. So, first of all, to get started with Ethereum, you need an Ethereum wallet. Ethereum wallets are like an internet banking app for Ethereum based cryptos. They allow you to manage your transactions, access your funds, etc. The website we are using now is called Metamask and today I'll show you how to make a public and private key using Metamask in order to use NFT. NFT's full form is non-fungible token. You can use them to purchase real life items such as digital art and photography using Metamask. Also, crypto assets are fungible. That means if you want to purchase a quantity of 5 ETH, each ETH that you buy will be exact replicas of each other and will be of equal price. Fiat currencies such as dollars are also fungible. On the other hand, NFTs are non-fungible which makes each token unique. You can also use Trust Wallet, the official wallet of the Binance Smart Chain, to make a physical address. But to use NFTs, you need a browser based Ethereum wallet such as Metamask. So that's what I'm going to be using now. So, okay, so the first step in this tutorial is to open Metamask.io. Make note of two things while doing this. First, you have to double check the link and confirm that it is Metamask.io, as a lot of typo squatting, fake URLs take place. Second, do not go in incognito mode. Metamask is an extension which you can add in your browser and it's not possible to add extensions in incognito. Next, click on download now to install this port. You can install Metamask for Chrome, iOS and Android. Metamask supported browsers are Chrome, Firefox, Brave and Edge. Ok, now I'm going to install it. Then, a page in the Chrome web store will open up. Next, you have to click on add to Chrome and then add extension. The welcome screen of Metamask will open in your browser. Click on the get started button. First, I'm gonna make things clear. Metamask is an Ethereum wallet and it accepts Ethereum tokens. You all may know what tokens are, but I'm just gonna brief on them. A token, unlike a coin, does not run on their own blockchain. If you want to make a token, you do not need to develop your own blockchain from scratch. Instead, you can just use a blockchain such as Ethereum. Coins such as Bitcoin, however, have their own blockchain which they run on. And an Ethereum wallet only allows Ethereum tokens, tokens that run on the Ethereum blockchain, such as SHIB. You cannot receive Bitcoin and other coins that run on their own blockchain. However, there is a way to send and receive Bitcoin in an Ethereum wallet, which I'll explain to you in the end. Now, back to Metamask. In the Metamask welcome screen, new users have to click on Create a wallet. Others who already have an account and remember all the details can click on Import Wallet. I'll explain how to import your wallet later on in the video. For the sake of this tutorial, I am going to create a new wallet. So first you have to click on create a wallet. It will show what Metamask will do and will not do. Then you have to click on I agree. Next you have to select your password. Make sure you write it down on a piece of paper and then write it. No phone number, no email address, just a password. So now I am going to type my password. After that, check the box for the terms of use. Then you can read the terms of use. After you have done that, click on create. Ne the next step is very very important. You will receive a seed phrase which you should not lose. If you lose it, you can never recover your account. So make sure you write it down and keep multiple copies. Say one in your bank locker and another in your personal diary so that you don't lose it. Also, do not store it digitally as it can be hacked and all the crypto assets you received can be transferred to the hacker's account. And also, if your computer crashes, you will lose your seed phrase. So write it down on a piece of paper and not digitally. Reveal your secret words and don't show it to anybody. And be careful of phishing. Metamask will not ask for your seed phrase by contacting you or through mail. 
After you have made copies of the seed phase, click on next. Then you should confirm your seed phase in the correct order. Click on confirm. Congratulations, you have successfully created your account. Earlier, I said that I will also explain to you how you can import your wallet. So let's see how you can. First, you have to click on import wallet. Click on agree now. As I've already created my account now, it's showing click here to reveal secret words. But if you had already directly clicked on import wallet at the start, then it would have shown enter seed phrase here. Then you should enter your seed phrase, select your password and confirm it. After that, it will also lead to the congratulations grade. After that, click on all done and you have successfully made your account. Now, I'll show you how to edit your account details and view your public and private key. Click on the more icon and then on account details. This long string of characters over here is your public key. You can make a note of it or copy it. If your friend or anyone else wants to share you some ether coins, then share the public key or the QR code above to them. Either can be used to transact cryptos to your account. To change your account name, click on the edit icon next to account one, your default account name, and rename it to whatever you want. For the purpose of this tutorial, I'm gonna name it subscribe to DWN. Then click on the check tick icon. Now the private key. Unlike the public key, you should never share the private key to anyone. Using it, anyone can transact your crypto assets to their account. So do not share it to anyone. To view the private key, click on export private key. Then enter your account password. Not the seed face, the account password. So now I'm going to type my account password over here. After you've done that, click on confirm. Then you get your private key. If you click on it, you can copy it. But then the private key is huge, right? So why should you bother writing it down? Well, let me tell you. So first click on done. And then on your profile avatar, and then import account. If you can't see your account in the home screen and you can see some other old account that you had, then all you have to do is go to import account and paste your private key over here. After you paste your private key, you can click on import and the account will be displayed in the home screen. There are two other tabs in this screen, hardware and create. If you click on the hardware tab, it'll ask you to select which hardware wallet brand that you have, ledger, or treasure. A hardware wallet is a very secure and special type of wallet that stores the user's public key and private keys in a secure hardware device. Okay, now select which brand of hardware wallet you have and then click on connect. So you have to click on any and then on connect. After that, you must authorize MetaMask to use your public key. After you do that, select your public key and then click on unlock and your hardware wallet will be connected to MetaMask and all the crypto assets that you have will be displayed. If you want to create another account, then go to the create tab. Next, type the name of your account. I'm going to name my account like this video. Then click on create and your new account will be created. Then to switch back to our old account, you have to click on your profile avatar and then select subscribe to DWN. Next, I'm going to show you how you can buy and send tokens. So, in the home screen, it shows that I have 0 ETH, Ether coins. To add ETH to your account, click on buy. You can either directly deposit Ether or use wire. If you use wire, you can use your credit card or debit card to deposit ETH into your account. If you want to directly deposit Ether into your account, click direct deposit. If you already have an Ether balance and you want to send some crypto to your friends or anyone else, click on send. To transact, you need the receiver's public address. You can also transfer crypto assets between your own accounts. You might need this feature if you have connected your hardware wallet and need to transfer funds from your hardware wallet to one of your other accounts in MetaMask. Okay, to do that, click here. Then select the account you want to transfer the cryptos to. Select your crypto asset, your transaction amount, and the fee. Depending on what speed you want your transaction to be delivered, select the gas fee. For more information on Ethereum Gas, visit our What is Ethereum Gas article in digitalwalletsnews.com. You can also click on Advanced Options and customize the fee and save it. 
It shows insufficient balance as you do not have any Ether coins in my account. There's another button called swap over here. I'll explain what it is in another video. Just make sure you subscribe to our channel. Now I'll skim through the important settings and briefly explain about them. In the general section, you can change your currency conversion, your primary currency and your current language. In contacts, you can add a username to someone you send cryptos regularly so that you don't have to type the public key every single time. Just click on add contact give them a username type in the public address or scan a qr the qr code and then click on save over here you can reveal your seed phrase to do that click on it and then enter your password after you've done that click on next then you can see your seed phrase you can copy it to clipboard or save it as a csv file now i'm going to close it and go back to settings if you want to know about adding a network in metamask just leave a comment and i'll make another video for it the about tab contains details about metamask now i'll tell you how to add some eth based tokens to metamask i'll search for some ethereum token now in coinmarketcap.com for the purpose of this tutorial i'm gonna be using SHIB. Make sure that the token you have searched for runs on the Ethereum blockchain. Then click on copy address. You can also directly add it to Metamask, but I'm just going to copy the address. After you have done that, go to Metamask and then click on add token over here. You can search for any tokens uh, from the, in the search bar. I'm going to search for my token ship, but then as you can see, I can't find it. So I'm going to add it through a custom token. So go to the custom token tab and then paste your token address. The token symbol and the decimals of precision will automatically be filled. You can edit them if you want by clicking on the edit button. After you have done that, click on next and then select add tokens. And that's it. Congratulations on successfully adding a token in Metamask. Below the send and swap buttons, you can see your transaction history. Any transactions that you have made or anything that you have received will show up here. Again, I tell you, you can only add ETH based tokens in Metamask. If someone tries to send Bitcoin to your public address, then it will disappear into the abyss of blockchain. It will be floating somewhere, but you cannot receive it. But there actually is a way to receive Bitcoin. I am going to search for WBTC in CoinMarketCap.com. WBTC means wrapped Bitcoin. Under contracts, it says Ethereum. That means wrapped Bitcoin is an Ethereum based token and so you can ask your friend to send you it and you can actually receive it. Similarly, you can find vers wrapped versions of other coins. Just make sure that it says Ethereum under contracts. For another example, if your friend wants to send you Matic coins, you can ask him to send you wrapped Matic which runs on the Ethereum blockchain. And that's all. But before you close Metamask, click on your profile avatar and lock your account. I hope you've learned how to create a physical address in Ethereum using the browser based wallet Metamask. Don't forget to like and subscribe the video. In my next video, I'll show you how to make use of NFTs via Metamask. Please don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Thank you for watching.